Hey guys, this is Juan. I'm coming at you with a, a walkthrough. Uh, we're actually gonna, you know, I'm actually gonna show you how I actually edit the videos I show you throughout my walkthroughs, especially. So uh, I'm using a Mac. If you have a Mac, it comes with an iMac, uh, iMovie already installed. So you don't have to, you don't have to buy anything. It's free, and it's actually a very, very good uh, program to use for editing. So why don't we get started? As you see here, I have iMovie already set up. I have a couple of videos that I have over here, which I already uploaded a bunch. But I'm going to show you what a new one. So let me show you step by step, pretty much, just a little rough of what I do. You can actually, you can do much more than I do, but this is just a little, little a quick preview. So you go to the bottom right and you add a, a project. So I'm going to just call it walkthrough. Um, that will be number 32. All right. Uh, the widescreen, you can keep it. Frame rate the same and just create it. Okay. Don't want to do anything too crazy. Now up here, I have the videos that I have imported. See, these are all the videos I have. Okay. Now this is the last one that I just filmed a little earlier today. And I'm going to edit it for you guys. And I'm going to show you at the same time. So just grab it and drag it down. As you can see here, your whole video shows up. You know, at the bottom right corner, you can um, check the frame rate every how often you want to cut the, the, the video. I prefer to cut it every 10 seconds because it's not too much, but at the same time, it's not too little. So you can do a lot of stuff. Um, so I just drag it down, and as you can see here, let me show you a little clip. Um, let me just play it from here. Hey guys, welcome back. We finally arrived at Olive Island City, and why don't we just take a look around? Now, um, in the last episode, we ran into our rival. Okay. Now, um, in the last episode, we ran into our rival. But anyways, so as you can see here, the videos is I filmed my whole thing. There's my whole walkthrough for, of Olive Island City. Um, so what I try to do is I always try to cut it as short as I possibly can. Now that I don't have a 15 minute uh, time limit, I don't really mind everything else. Um, so I just try to make it as best as I can. So I usually cut out the beginning because I usually, you know, I, I'm, I'm setting up, so I cut it out. So what you do is you could just go up to any part if you want to cut it. Say, for example, um, oh, there's actually a, the, one of these battles over here. Uh, where is it? Here. Now this dude has like five pigeons, so I'm not going to show you five pigeons in a row. So what I do is I go up to the part that I want to start cutting. I usually just play it real quick. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay, um, so let me see, when do I take out the first one? Alright, so, let me see. Okay, now this guy's dead. So I usually show you the first guy, and then when he brings on the second guy, I just click and drag until the battle is over when it turns black so now you have a, a section that you chose so you right click and I put split so you split it from everything else now um, then you can just uh, hit info over here and over here it tells you the speed so I usually just do it eight times so I cut it really fast okay and then over here there's a little bar and you can just alter the volume with it okay I usually put it about 10 10%, 10, 11, 12, something around the area. So as you can see here, as we come from our regular ba uh, battle, as soon as it hits that area, it's going to speed up. Okay? Now, eight times is as fast as you can possibly make it. So that's as fast as I'm not going to make it. Now, another thing I do is I start... Um, and, uh, what I do is I separate the battles only if a Pokemon in my team levels up. So as you can see here, you see on the top right, Kulavo goes up a level. So I know that after this battle, my banner is going to switch. So I just split that area. It's a lot of splitting and stuff like that and changing the audio, you know, uh, altering the, the volume of the audio. I, I usually do that separate. I usually keep it around 80%. So it's not too loud. Um, then, I mean, you just have to go step by step. I mean, I I go over this video maybe five, six times once it's ready to make sure I get everything correct. Um, 
the levels and you know like um, my pronunciation and any parts I could actually just cut out now if you want to cut out just the audio not the video at the bottom of the thing where it's blue you could just click here and you see it's a little yellow thing now if if you want to for example cut the volume out you just cut this area out so if you come from here and it goes here it literally just becomes quiet L listen the number also okay so obviously I don't want to do that because I'm actually speaking in this area but you get the point so with this uh, you could just you know I'm gonna switch to 30 seconds real quick and I'm just uh, look at somewhere else I can cut out now this video doesn't have much I can cut out because it's just gym uh, it's not gym it's trainer battles so usually when I run into uh, uh, wild Pokemon for example I'm gonna say that this encounter right here the next battle I see it's a it's a wild Pokemon right so as soon as I see that over the, the black screen I drag it until it's over right which is right about now split it I fast forward it I lower the volume and I just I repeat I now if, say you want to get rid of this uh, this piece for example I'm gonna show and I'm actually gonna obviously redo it because I don't want to cut it out you can just hit delete and it's gone okay I'm actually gonna bring it back because I actually don't need to but I need to delete it but just in case um, there's other various things you could do uh, for example I have my introduction of here saved already so you can just drag it to the beginning so now my introduction okay it goes straight into the video so you what you want to do is you want to add something of a uh, you know something in between a theme a transition so this is the ones that the, uh, my computer came with I didn't buy them they're all you know free uh, pick the one you like I'm just gonna pick this one for now you drag it to where you want it and it has a little timer it says 0.5 seconds that's how long it's gonna last now you can change that timer you can change it to two seconds for example so now the the, the, the thing goes from being regular to this <laughs> Okay. Now, also, say you want to do a voiceover, say a part you messed up, instead of saying Krabby, you call him the Kingler, or like you messed up and you want to just, you know, do a voiceover. This microphone right here, if you click it, it's a voiceover. So you, pl you click whichever part you want, and it's going to do a voiceover for you. For example, I'm going to just show you and I'm going to delete it. It gives you countdown. And then you go, hello, how are you? I messed up. I'm gonna try this again. And you hit space whenever you're done. Okay, now as you see here, let me make it a little uh, bigger so you can see it. It does a voiceover, so therefore, whatever you had there, the volume will become lower. So therefore, you hear, and then you go, hello, how are you? I messed up. I'm gonna try this again. So you hear what you just wrote. Now, obviously, you could just delete it. Um, also, there's a lot of audio um, adjustments you can do. Um, you can change obviously the volume from here. Ducking, ducking is to get rid of like the background noise and to make your voice sound better. I don't touch it unless there's a couple videos that my audio was messed up. I messed with it to get it the best I possibly could. It's not perfect. You can have your fade. You can enhance and you can reduce the background noise. Equalizer, I usually pick voice in hand so my voice sounds a little more. You could, it's uh, I mean, custom, you can change whatever you want, right? But make sure if you want to use it, you hit the check uh, check box right next to where it says custom. Uh, since I don't want it, um, I'm just going to let it go. Now, one of the other things I do, aside from you know just doing this, is I put the banner. So I'm going to show you. I have Photoshop open right here. As you see here in Photoshop, let me drag it inside. Um, you guys see that this, this is my uh, my banner, pretty much with my team. So let me make it a little smaller um, so I can show you. There we go. Now I show you how I I usually do it. It's very tedious, uh, but you know it makes it look really nice. So, for example, at the beginning of the video. Um, 
I have the same team. So I'm going to have, usually right at the beginning, I, I make a trade or I change my Pokemon. So I definitely know what I have. So you go in here and I'm going I'm to have Kolava. There we go, right there. You see that point right there where my team, I go to my team. Well, I just click on it and drag out of the screen. Go here and I just double check. I see that Kolava has the same level. Nidorino, Rocky has the same level. So they're all the right levels. Except in this video I have Oddish, so therefore I have to get rid of Sudowoodo. So over here I have all the pictures, all the writing I do for each team. So I just look till I see Sudowoodo picture. It should be somewhere around here. Uh, somewhere. Oh, well, it's by one of the, the new ones that I haven't. There you go. I haven't renamed. So you can just rename it Sudowoodo. Pick. Okay, now, so if uh, I just get rid of it and I just bring in the picture of Oddish, which I already have it saved here, okay, now I go where it says Oddish, I click on it, and I go where it says Huda Huda, I click off, now I just move it around until uh, I, I get it to work the way I like it. Once I'm done, in this case it's a level 10, I go Command, Shift, Four. That will take a screen picture of your of your um, of your team, okay? Of of whatever you pick in the screen. So therefore, in my case, you can just click and drag, and I click this whole area, okay? Now, once you're done with it, you, it just takes a picture, and it's gonna show up in your Finder. Now, I have my Finder hidden at the moment. I don't know why. Let me show it to you real quick. Here we go. Now, here's my screenshot. You just click and drag it hit side by side okay once you hit side by side you're able to drag it and click on whatever you want now for this case I'm just gonna click it like here because this is the first battle click on it and hit this button that looks like a square where a little the ends are longer it's a crop button so hit the crop hit fit so it fits on the whole thing hit done so therefore now you go from the walkthrough it goes to here and now you have the sidebar. Now I obviously um, I repeat this process over and over every time a Pokemon goes up uh, a level or something. Uh, so in this case, since Kulava goes to level 24, I have to uh, go back to Photoshop, change the level from 23 to 24, and then hit Command Shift 4 again and take another picture of the new team. Once I do that, I just repeat the process. It's down here now. Click here, side by side. Click on it. Crop it. Make it fit. Hit done. Once you hit done, you can just drag it. And voila. So now it goes from here. If you see the top right, Kula goes from 23 to 24. Okay? It's just seamless. Now, you could add music. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't at all uh, what's it called I don't like to put music on my t on my thing at all so what I'm gonna do is I mean I'll show you there's a little music button here um, and you have I have some old music I have on my iPod which I haven't done even use anymore but you can just pick a song whatever you want and just drag it click and just drag it to wherever you want okay and then obviously you can edit this thing I'm not gonna do it but you know what I mean now, I mean, I think this is a, a really good look. You could add another banner to it. So what you do is you have another banner, you just drag it on top of this, hit side by side, and just repeat the process. Um, and after this, whenever you're done, is you just go to, actually, oh, over here you have a problem. It says, because it overlaps. So you just have to mess with the time until this becomes white, not gray, like it was before. Once it's white, then it works. And I just have to take off 0.1 seconds. So that's not a big deal so once you're done you're happy with it I'm actually not obviously I haven't finished editing it but uh, just in case I was um, you can go to file the top of iMovie you go to finalize project and then it, it finalizes for you since in my case it's an HD it's gonna you know it's gonna convert everything into HD it's gonna optimize the video it takes about an hour or so to uh, finalize it now say you're done with it 
you go back to your project uh, library over here. Uh, this is the one I just did, but I have other ones that I have already done before. These, well, when you're done editing and you finalize it, in my case, you see here HD 720. That means obviously when I upload it to YouTube or anything like that, it's going to be in 720. So for example, say I, I want to upload this one, which will probably be uploaded tomorrow. I go to uh, right click, publish to YouTube, and it goes straight from here. Now it's, it's going to ask me for my password and category, title, and you just write whatever you want. Whenever you're done, you choose next and you hit OK, publish. And then after that, it's going to take 5 to 10 minutes. It's going to upload to YouTube. And it's going to be straight from YouTube. I mean, you don't have to go to YouTube and hit upload. It goes straight from iMovie to YouTube. So it saves you a step of exporting it, then importing it from YouTube, and so on. Now, this is pretty much it. Obviously, there's way more you can do in this uh, with this program. I'm obviously very new to it. I never used it before until I started my channel. So um, I've been getting better at it. I'm, I Actually, I, I can edit these videos in a matter of five to ten minutes now it used to take me like half an hour and you know you get better at it and just I mean you obviously you could do so much more with it but this is like a basic if you want to do your own video and you have a Mac I figured this would be a great step for you to start with um, I'm actually gonna stop this video right here hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any more problems or any questions about how to use iMovie I'll try my best to uh, get back at you if I know what I'm doing, because there's obviously some advanced stuff that I'm not. All this I learn by myself. So feel free to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.